Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandon and I still make videos. In today's video, we'll go through what's in my everyday camera case. Let's get into it. All right, the brains of this entire operation is this guy and this guy, the Pelican 1510 case. I hope nothing broke but i got this case custom divided at case connection in honeydew they did a really great job cost next to nothing just to get it laid out like this so everything has a place to stay chauffeur come take the case all right next up on this entire operation is a sony a7s3 muito obrigado the Sony A7S III brings the entire operation. You guys have heard me talk a lot of praises about this camera. Still my main workhorse. We shoot, we live, we eat, we breathe, and we basically, this camera. Oh, it's so dope. We even have a second one that fits into the Pelican case. The second one is the one that you're seeing me from right now. Next up is my lenses. These are some of the class that I use. The other one is the Sigma 24 to 70 that's currently on the body, but this is a mega lens, the 35mm 1.2. The bokeh from this, absolutely stunning. It's like a hot knife running through butter. Next up, a 14mm f2.8, 14 to 24, sorry. It's a great lens, establishes places nicely. I don't use it all that much, but sometimes it distorts the image a bit too much for my liking. So I always just opt for the 24 to 70 that you're seeing me from right now. After that, the interview king. I think this lens is really good for your second angle when you're doing interviews. This is the 85mm 1.8 Sony. Absolutely love this thing. Hmm. You ever seen a lens so good you wish you could eat it? Moving on. Next up, what many call sunglasses for your lenses. This is a variable ND filter from KNF Concept. It's very cheap on Amazon, goes for about 500 Rand, 600 Rand, and it does the trick. When you're outside in a pinch and you just have to expose your image properly, meaning your shutter and your f stops. So this guy comes in handy for that. I wish I could throw it out the frame. And then the next thing pops up like, wow. Just like that. Next up is sound. These are the Rode Wireless Go 2. You're currently hearing me from one of those. It is in my pocket, as you can see it. Um, this is a really great microphone setup because it's got two transmitters and one receiver. So it means you can mic up two people at the same time for an interview setup or when you've got more people just talking around you, you know, just wanna have a floating microphone. Also, the nice thing about these mics is they have a built-in microphone. So, should you be in a pinch and you have to make interview setups, newscaster style, just hold this thing. Hi, what is up? Get it? Got it? Good. My monitor of choice is the Atomos Ninja 5, which is such an exceptional monitor, which records all the frame rates from the A7S III, including that really, really high one that you can't get internally, thrown at the high dynamic range. This monitor can capture that. It also comes with all these tools that are built into it, like you can add a hard drive here and record straight to that. Um, you've got color tools, you've got exposure tools that will help you just nail your image every single time as accurate as possible. Hey, it's expensive, but, but hey, it does the job, I guess. With all the content we create with these cameras and all this equipment, we need memory cards to store all of it while on the set. So these are some just some of the memory cards that we have. Uh, but the one that I want you guys to pay careful attention to is this card. It's probably not in focus, but here's the bureau. You can see the bureau, right? Shop. This is a ProGrade V90 SD card. This memory card unlocks so much recording capability from the Sony A7S III. And it's so much cheaper than the CF Express Type A cards, but this does just as great of a job. 
Next up are the action cams. In here is my Insta360 ONE R. Captures great video, all those tiny planet videos that you sometimes see on our Instagram or on some of the videos we make, this little guy is the guy. The other camera in here is the GoPro Hero 9 Black. It's still a great camera, but it's got its shortcomings. I mean, GoPro is a great company. They've been making action cameras for a long time, but ish, this one is a bit, you know, but yeah, you know, we trust and believe that the next version after the 10, which is also out, which is very similar to this, it's also got its shortcomings, just like this one does. We hope that the next version is just a much better improved offering. If you'd like me to review any of these two cameras, please let me know down below in the comments. Let's chat. Yangzo. With great power comes great responsibility. Or as I like to say, with great responsibility comes great power. This is how we keep all our cameras powered up whenever we're on set, especially the smaller sets. The bigger sets, we pull out the V-lock batteries, we pull out cages, we pull out rails, we pull out the whole shebang. But on the smaller sets where we need to be on Ronin, on and off, on a tripod and whatever, we pull out these bad boys, the FZ100 batteries. Great power, but you know, the more they age, it's the quicker they die. So it's a bit of a meh. But nonetheless, better than the A7S2 batteries, which we had at some point about 12 of those guys, if not 15. But here, we're sitting on a comfortable seven. Dango. The following items are items that don't sit in the Pelican case. They have their own separate bags and we bring them to sit with us every now and then. First up is the laptop of choice, which is the M1 Max MacBook Pro. This thing handles everything we throw at it. 422 10-bit, easy. Red code footage, easy. Blackmagic 6K footage, easy. Anything you throw at it, it handles like a hot knife through butter. Our newest addition to the kit are the Nanlite Pavo Tubes 30C. If you recall, we had these in our gear wishlist video, which dropped about seven months ago. I am ashamed of that, but we ticked them off the list. We have them now and boy, do they look amazing. Look, there's plenty other things that we take with us to set, but last but not least, this is our drone of choice, the Mavic Air 2S with the 5.4K sensor, which shoots absolutely stunning video. And with an improved battery life, ah, this thing can go for a while before running out of juice and having to come back home automatically. All right, guys, that's been all the gear that we take to sets with us from time to time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you know when the next video comes out. Let's also interact in the comment section down below as always. But for now, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Sure.